Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats are from Pop Turnative, speaking to David Oaks about Vikings Valhalla, dropping February 25th on Netflix. Thank you so much for your time. Lovely to be here, PT. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It's an exciting time. I'm sure today it's hit you that it's finally coming up because you're talking to all these outlets. But has this week kind of hit you that it's coming out soon? Hey, <laughs> it's an interesting <laughs> one. Uh, hashtag spoiler. We've been sitting on two seasons of this for a while now. <laughs> we're, we're desperate to get some people watching this show. Um, at one stage, it looked like we might even have a potential third season shot now, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, yeah, it's it's really exciting. Um and everyone keeps talking about the legacy of the previous show of Vikings, of the universe that we're following. And that's a really great thing to have, to hold, to nurture, to cherish. But to come out here and go, right, OK, you know that thing you love? We love it, too. And you know what we also love? What we've made in response to it. So I hope it's it, like yeah, you knew what I was. Good. It's like you knew what I was going to ask, because I, I feel your mind, like Peter. that's that's the power <laughs> of Godwin of Wessex. He knows what you're going to say before you say it. I just feel like it's a really cool opportunity and situation the cast of Vikings Valhalla is in because all these new amazing powerful characters are are resurfacing for us in a universe that a lot of us are like familiar with because this is a hundred years later after the original Vikings so I'm just curious what your mindset is like an actor knowing it's like a new show but in like a existing universe that we're familiar with I love it I think if you yeah. if you put it like that I'd be like well be careful you might piss people off what are you going to do to try and avoid that and yeah. if someone said to me we're going to get the screenwriter who wrote Die Hard and The Fugitive I'd be like oh okay you're fine best of luck off you go I'm going to watch that one um yeah no I I think we're going to be absolutely fine um yeah we've got the same texture of the previous show and we will be building upon that from episode one onwards but we will slowly and Godwin in no small part as a part of this will subvert your realization that uh, that maybe just a year has elapsed in terms of when they finished shooting the first series and when we started this, but a hundred years have changed things in the Viking world. So it's the same, but it's different. I feel like I have a hunch of like I have an idea of what your answer to this question is going to be. Know your character and what kind of goes on with Earl and everything. But there's three <laughs> components that I love about this show. Obviously, you know it's breathtaking to look at aesthetically. It's stunning. Then there's obviously the heavy dialogue between a lot of characters and everything that kind of hit pretty hard. And then of course the action and the battle and the fight scenes, which one kind of stands out for you, David, out of the three I just mentioned, do they all just equal or. Earl Godwin has a finger in every pie. And if you think he doesn't, you just haven't seen it yet. <laughs> and I think that's what I like is I'm, I'm the outsider. I am the Saxon in a world of Vikings who is allowed to swim in everybody's pool. How many metaphors can I mix in one sentence? Yeah, I know. That was pretty well there done. There you go. That was, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just like there is a lot happening and people are going to see it on the 25th, but this show's packed, David. Yeah, it's ambitious. Yeah. I think you have to be now. To get people's attention, you have to be ambitious. And I think if we came out and just made more Vikings, people would go, ah, that was so 2010. No, we, we're coming out and we're, we're changing the game up and we've got Netflix's beautiful deep pockets to help us get it. And it's pretty exciting too. I mean, it's going to like so many people are going to be able to see it on the 25th. The global component of it is my favorite thing about content consumption these days. It's safe to say that's pretty cool about being a storyteller, that your stuff could be seen to a global audience instantly like that, David. It's mad. Yeah. The, the global instantaneous aspect of it is something that I'm still sort of trying to get my head around. Yeah. Um, I've also been told if enough of you watch it, they will release all of season two the next day. <laughs> Um, so I'll just leave that there and see what you make of it. <laughs> David, thank you so much for your time. Vikings Valhalla dropping February 25th worldwide on Netflix. David, thank you for your time. Seriously. Absolute pleasure, PT. Speak to you soon. Bye bye. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.